One of the big parts of having any medical skills, and certainly after you take one of our training courses, is going to be to practice those skill sets. And one of the easiest way to practice things like tourniquet application and wound packing or general stop the bleed concepts is to have some kind of wound cue, but you want to make your own. A lot of the commercial ones are kind of expensive and a little bit limited on what you can do with them. So we like to show these off to our students in training courses, and I want to show you how to make one today. We've made some posts about this before, but I wanted to break it down to a couple finer steps here. First of all, the benefit of these yoga block trainers is they are incredibly inexpensive. These things are about five bucks off of Amazon. You can get them in different colors. You can get them in different thicknesses, whatever it is you want. What I like about them is I can put tourniquets around them so I can practice full tension, full tightness tourniquet application, especially if I'm teaching other people. I don't always want to be the tourniquet dummy, you know, for the kids or for the family or for whoever. So when you're around the house and you want to keep practicing, here's a great way to be able to practice with your tourniquets because they compress. You can really crank those tourniquets down. And of course, you still have the open and available wounds, so wound packing and bandaging is a lot more realistic and easier to do on these than some of the other trainers out there. So to show you how to kind of make these things on your own, pretty simple to do, order them up. I've already started on this one here. I've made a couple of different types of profile of, of wounds. Here I made a very deep uh, kind of cavitated wound, maybe like a gunshot or, a, or a, a large you know, penetrating trauma. And then here I've made a cut that starts shallow and then goes deep. And that's one of the cool things about making your own wound cube is that you can kind of do whatever it is you want to do to make it happen. So, you know, I've got my trusty uh, Microtech here. You want to use a nice sharp knife when you're doing this kind of stuff. And then just kind of be inventive. You know, maybe I'll make this kind of cut might be like a nasty, jagged, kind of open skin separation. And you know, maybe I'll kind of go a little wide there and then I'll get really narrow on that last bit of it. Good set of needle nose pliers. And then you just basically start removing that material to whatever depth that you want. As you can see, this stuff pulls out really easily. This is not uh, a hard thing to do. If you got kids, this would be a fun project for them because they can kind of help you make something. But this is not hard to do. And you can go, it, obviously, depending on the thickness, as deep or as big or as wide as you want. And just like that, I made another wound to practice on. Another thing I like to be able to do with these is that you can take something like a knife or other impaling object and you can stick it into the wound cube and then you can practice doing impalement stabilization and bandaging and you can use obviously a variety of different you know objects to be able to put into the wound cube um, including a knife. So a lot of cool things you can do with these yoga blocks and in the end of the day it's still a yoga block like if you use them for that purpose it's still pretty functional. So anyway just want to show you guys uh, how to make this really cool training aid, how to make your own wound cube so you can practice doing tourniquet application, you can practice your bandaging, you can practice wound packing, you can practice uh, you know impalements, at the end of the day, we can also make these things bleed as well, kind of like we do with our silicone wound trainers that we use in class. A little bit more difficult here, but you know, with a little bit of uh, imagination, you can make it happen. So maybe we'll cover that in another video, but hope this got, helped you guys out. Come out and train with us. Find us online, trainingaz.com. Until next time, stay aware, stay safe, train hard.